Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here with another tutorial, and today we're going to create a wallpaper by using cubes inside of Blender. So first thing we're going to do is delete this lamp, then I'll select this cube and tab into edit mode. We're going to create a beveled edge where our light will be emitting from. So to do that, just press Ctrl B and then drag it, and you can make this line as thick or as thin as you want. I'm just going to type in 0.05. And we're going to make sure we're in Cycles Render. I'll add a new material and switch it to Emission. And I'm just going to give it a red color. And if you open up the Settings tab down here, there's an option for Viewport Color, and you can change that to be any color you want. So I'm just going to copy the color by pressing Control z and then pasting it here with Control v And now you can see that in the viewport, it's that color. Now I'm just going to select this uh, button here so that we can select only the faces. And if you press Ctrl I, it selects every face, every other face. And we're going to create a new material and assign it to those faces. And we'll name this a gloss, and the other one will be light. And for this glossy material, it's going to be a mix shader, and it's uh, combining a diffuse with a glossy shader. We're going to make sure the glossy shader's roughness is down to zero. We're going to bring down this color all the way so it's a nice dark gray like that. And I'll press Control C and then paste that same color here. And then I'll paste it also here. Okay. So that's it for our particle. Now we just have to create the particle system. And that's going to be a plane. And I'm going to add a new particle system. Switch the end frame to 20. And I'll check rotation and move the random values all the way to 1 as well as the phase. And in the size, I'm going to set it to 0.5 and random size 0.5. I'm going to uncheck emitter and switch it from halo to object and select the cube that we made. And check rotation. And then I'll play it. And those cubes are too big. I think I was supposed to leave it at 0.05. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So I'll play it again. And I want to use frame 25 because that looks good. And so I'll just go to the first layer, select our camera, and press M to move it to the second layer. And I'll press Control Alt 0 to snap it to view. And check the location and set it in the center and then zoom out to about there and then just press G and Z to drag it down. I want to drag it down halfway so I'm just going to get out and drag it down. And then I'm also going to rotate this by pressing R while in camera view. And I'll rotate it like that. I'll zoom in a little bit move it up some and that's looking good I'm just going to change the background color to black now we're going to add some light because if you go into rendered view right now you can see that there's not much reflections on the side of the cubes except for the red light they're emitting so I'm going to go to front view add a plane tab into edit mode press G or I'm going to cancel that press shift D Z 0.5 so that we duplicate it and move it exactly 0.5 units up then we'll scale it and type in 2.5 and I'll tab out of edit mode go to side view rotate it by negative 45 degrees and move it up here then go to top view and rotate it 45 degrees and move it down there and for this plane, we're going to give it two materials. They're both going to be emission shaders that are pure white. The only difference will be the strength. One of them will have a strength of 2.5, and the other will have a strength of 5. So now I'll tab into edit mode, and since we have the big face selected, I'm going to assign it the material with the strength of 2.5. And I'll select the small face and assign it to the material with the strength of 5. Now we can go to our camera view and render out this image really quickly. And that's looking good. 
Now I'll just press Control and left arrow to hop over to the compositor. Check Use Nodes Backdrop. Control up arrow to make full screen. I'll drag these out. Control Shift and left click to bring up the viewer node. And we want to add a blur to this. So I'm going to press Shift A, Filter, Blur. Set it to Fast Gaussian, Relative. I'm going to select X and make it one by one. Then I'll duplicate this and make it uh, 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. Now we're going to combine these two images with a mix node. So press Shift A, Color Mix. And I'll switch it to Add and duplicate it again and plug in the original image. And what this does is it creates a nice blur along the edges with light. And if you wanted to change the color of this image, you can just add a hue saturation value node and play with the hue. And you can get some nice different colors. And I'm going for a nice blue. Uh, maybe point one and that's looking good so I'll just plug it into the compositor and render it out again and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching please share your results in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for future tutorials feel free to leave them in the comments as well thanks for watching